I don't know how to do witchcraft, dude. I haven't seen Supernatural in forever. Okay, crap. I haven't seen Supernatural in like months, dude. I'm, I'm still in like season eight. Shit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here and welcome to my first five random games. Five random games video, five random sub things. I see a lot of YouTubers doing them and I'm just gonna be a huge unoriginal piece of shit today. I'm even wearing the same exact clothes as I wore in a video two days ago. You guys are absolutely living in a dream world if you don't think everyone who doesn't have face cam wears the same clothes every day. They, they absolutely have to. Plus it's like, it's Riot official merch so it's the softest thing on the planet. I could live in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so our first game, we are this mythical dragon beast right here, and we've been gifted the incredulous task of burning down the infected crops. I guess this town over here has some infected crops, and we must, you know, burn that shit down. Right off the bat, it's, this, is, this is gorgeous, dude. For a browser game, this is absolutely beautiful. Everything is so shiny and moist. Nothing's ever moist these days. <laughs> oh shit, I turned around. Alright, so here's the crops I'm imagining. That little stink cloud right there is the infected crops. Oh my god, and there's the little town. And there's the people. So right click is fireball, and then left click is fire blast for the most part, right? I gotta be sure to burn down the... Man, I, I don't want <laughs> to be very careful right now. I feel like we're somewhat like the defender around here. Hey, every game that I played today is also in the description below. If you guys want to check it out for yourselves, they should all be free. They're browser games. Did I get it all? Did I get all the infected crops? I think I'm a good dragon. I mean, I've done it, right? Unless there's more, unless there's more stank around here, I mean, unless it's all just infected. This is so cool, beautiful little city. That motherfucker just throw something at me? Yo, they're shooting arrows at me! Oh, so we're not friends at all. We're not, I, I totally mistook the relationship this dragon has with the village people. Which look at him gathered around me shooting arrows at me actually. And they have a health bar! That's decreasing! Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Screw you people. I'm going to toast all of your crops now. I'm going to bring about a famine on your people. Look at this dude. Out in the field harvesting crops. You're gonna die. So you can burn people to death. I imagine our, like, goal is just to somewhat protect the ecosystem of any disease that these filthy little critters might spread. Beautiful landscape. I love the freaking music, the bagpipes, everything. It really brings you into a setting. Yeah, there's more stanky shit right over there. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This is better, already better than half the games I buy on Steam. There is no criteria for making any sort of a good video game these days. You can just poop out any sort of random connection of code with characters and you can sell it on steam what the fuck do they even infect these crops with all right now at the risk of pissing off all of my lovely ex-girlfriends who are all super christian that i try to maintain friendships with i am going to burn down this that is a church right or is that just a barn this is a freaking oh it's a pig pit <laughs> the next best thing if you can't worship jesus you shall worship bacon See, that's how you eradicate mass disease back in these days. You eliminate swine. Pigs carry all kinds of disease. Alright, this has got to be it. The last eradication. I should be able to snipe it from the sky with my... I imagine these fireballs are more from... Yeah, selective targets, I'd imagine. Dude, everyone's got a freaking weapon these days. Look at them. As soon as you sit down, they just mass gather from all around. Savagery. This is some cool music. Some weird tribal music going on. Guys, I'm really doing my best to eradicate all the stank. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my heart out right now. Every time I turn around, it comes back. Some endless freaking... I'm about to freaking die right now because all these are people kidding me right now. The locals may not like it. By the way, hate makes them a little cr or really crazy and too courageous. Be careful. One more thing. People gather part of the infected grain and put it in their barns with other supplies. Now all the supplies in these barns are infected. Oh, Jesus Christ. So that's it, when you burn down a bunch of stuff, people gain a bit of a mob mentality and come after you. Fireballs! Oh that's actually beautiful! They leave this warning up for like 30 minutes though, I assume it's for those who can't read that fast. This is great though. Can I set it on fire from here? I did. I can and I did. You know, fuck all of your buildings, dude. You people have been shooting arrows at me. I've been trying to do good. 
Setting down is risky. But I imagine you get a lot more done. I'm gonna burn down the entire village because these people have been nothing short of rude to me and I just will not have it. Does stuff even stay on fire? I feel so lied to. I'm gonna stick it out by this building and see if uh, after a certain amount of fire, if I'm just like running by these things like a fool. Yeah, that's definitely what the fireball sniping's for. That's that's very needed right there because people are dicks back in these days. The freaking bar will not be destroyed. Maybe it just doesn't burn down. I don't think buildings burn down in this game. That's on me. I got a little too excited. Perhaps they're just literally meant to destroy it with fireballs, all like peacefully and such. Or more peacefully. They seem to be gathering betwixt my cheeks though. They're definitely winding up for some sort of village ambush. It just doesn't freaking tell you when everything, anything's been destroyed. Like, how the hell am I supposed to know? The roof is no longer intact. It must be destroyed. I'm a complete one shot right now. I think I'm just gonna give this game one solid life, so now a lot actually hangs on my th on the threads right now. Like, a couple more arrows and we die. All right, there's the town coming over the hill. There's all those dead pigs. Fuck you! Uh, there's my barn. One fireball, two fireball, fire blast. That should suffice just nicely. We did set the roof on fire. It does go out moments after. It's some sort of Viking improved fire retardant wood or something. Something's going on there. I'm just gonna classify that as destroyed. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? We were sniped flying over the water because people could freely walk on water, you dirty bastards. All right. I generally enjoyed being a dragon. This was the game that inspired this whole video because of how beautiful this is for just a downloadable browser game and because there are no other dragon simulators. But alas, you beautiful creature, I must put you down and move on to the next one. All right, welcome to Don't Close Your Eyes, music by Nick Mervis. Nick Mervis, if you flag my video with copyright because your music's in it, I swear to God, buddy, we're not gonna get off on the best terms. That may be a very weird thing to say, but as a YouTuber, we are just sick of it! All right, dear Sarah, it's you from the past. I know you don't remember anything. That's because you have amnesia and I raped you. No, I added that last part. I went Bill Cosby. You write yourself, or you write a note to yourself every night to help you remember how to survive the night. I know it sounds crazy, but there are creatures who are trying to hunt you. If you hear a door opening, shine your flashlight on it. If it doesn't work for all the demons of the... It doesn't work for all the demons, though. If the shadow demon gets in your room, turn on the radio. It also helps to keep their voices out of your head. If you let them in your head, you might never see tomorrow. Also, there's a spell book to your left. You can use it to protect the doors. One of the demons is really vulnerable to a special spell. So this is one of the horror games I entailed, because you guys enjoy that and wish to see more. I'll just go ahead and turn the light off, make it all sorts of sexy in here. Fucking light's broken. Ah, there we go. All right. This chick sounds like she just is straight up... Oh no, you guys are gonna get really mad at me. I instantly forgot everything she said. Hang on. Spell book? Oh, are you kidding me? What kind of Harry? What the hell? You can cast spells. What the fucking door open? Okay, so the radio scares away that demon for some, for some reason. For some reason, that's a thing. None of this makes any logical sense to me in the slightest, so that's why it's not clicking in my head. This is clearly, okay, let's see what these spells, you can cast spells to protect the door, if the demon attacks the protected door, it can't enter, but the spell will be broken to cast a spell, select one of the signals and trace over them as good as you can. I don't know how to do witchcraft, dude. I haven't seen Supernatural in forever. Okay, crap. I haven't seen Supernatural in like months, dude. I'm, I'm still in like season eight. Shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, now what the fuck is going on? So I just keep my flashlight on? What the shit's going on? I don't understand. That spell didn't do anything. I'm gonna turn it off again. <gasps> God damn it! It's like he's endless! This game is weird, dude. This game is weird and confusing and weird. I'm turning the light back on. Alright. I wanna have my- I'm gonna turn it off. <gasps> God damn it! It's like he's always there! Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, if that's the radio demon, of course it's the radio for stupid me, that's the radio demon, obviously. Johnny, you idiot, how could you not recognize? How am I supposed to draw this shit? This seems like the easiest one to draw. I wonder if they each actually do different things. What's this one do? Pooga, 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 pooga. Dude, my mouse, like, raised DPI for a second and ruined everything. Oh. This insignia will ward off evil spirits, Castiel. Shut the fuck up! God damn it! The radio has a cooldown. That 
That doesn't even make logical sense, sir. That one is direct. So I just like the flash out of the power of the battery runs out. This is frustrating. This is so frustrating. My legs are beginning to tighten and tighten. I'm not even realizing until I realize my <gasps> genitals are being crushed to a fine powder right now. And yeah, he's gone. Oh, am I supposed to do like each spell and then block each door? Dude, you can't, you can't be freaking messing with me right now, mouse. Not now, buddy. Oh my God, you little dick. You little, little dick mouse. What is happening? Oh, now I'm gonna die. I don't know what the fuck this is. It just stuck on my face. Cast it. Drop really quick. I'm about to plug my wireless mouse in. It's being very messed up. It's usually so good. It's top rank. <gasps> Damn it! Well, now we play the waiting game. Can I do this while he's just there? I have no idea what is going on. This chick should be able to cure her memory somehow with her crazy ass witchcraft abilities, but nevertheless is unable to. Dude, of all times for my mouse to mess up, of all freaking times for my mouse to mess up. Okay, which is the mouse I put? This one's dead! I'm not playing this one again. I actually hated this game. I don't hate a lot of games. I hated this game, dude. Partially because of my mouse. Oh, you bastard! But then you can just kind of cool that down. I only need one more insignia up, though. Shouldn't I just do it? Wouldn't that just make the most sense? This little... Super little bastardy design right here after this. The doors should just remain closed, right? And we've just it's essentially beaten the darkness. <gasps> no, because he's still there. Maybe the door has to be closed for the spell to work. There's full spells up on all the doors, but I can't live like this. My mouse has to be wireless. It can't be plugged in. I can't live like that. It's all kosher. Oh, shit. That's that's a direct red flag right there. Hang on. There's this one. This one's so annoying. It's gotta be like directly on the line. The spells are giving out. What kind of, what kind of lame ass spells are these? They last five seconds. We're no Doctor Strange, are we? <laughs> that one didn't even count. I want my money back and it's only 1 a.m. I am not enjoying this at all right now. <laughs> Come get me, you bitch. I don't even care anymore. You expect me to draw this again? 27 years old, and you expect me to drop? It doesn't even rework. Or the door was just open? No, I. <gasps> oh, it's the one I already had drawn over there. This is Supreme Dildos, homie. Yeah, that's it. Oh! <laughs> He's still there, though. Why don't we just fight the son of a bitch? The new insignia doesn't even work. We're just stuck here, man. This chick should just- I say this before- I say this all the time with these kind of games. These I can't sleep till 5 a.m. games. Just kill yourself, man! <gasps> How is this better? Flashlight's dead. Flashlight's dead. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so I simply have absolutely no idea what's going on with this one. Sonic the Assault? The photo on the front was like a hanging bloody version of Sonic. It's also like a preview. It's not the full game. It's just a preview for the game, but... Creepy music, dark, ominous background at the beginning, little dust particles floating around. Very weird vibe. This kind of music, and this like slow, dreadful moving about, really depresses the hell out of me. These are not the controls. These are a lie. You were lying to me, sir. We can move, we can use like, we can go back and we can go right. Oh, this is gonna be a way, this is gonna be, this is gonna be an experience right here. What fuck? All right, <laughs> now we progress. <laughs> I know quitter immediately. All right, I'm at least gonna go through the first door and see what's going on. But I, I, I hate to, I hate to say it's just I feel directly limited in my abilities without the ability to go forward. Shit, I'm moving farther. Oh my god, it took five minutes and the, the most effort I've ever put in anything, but we got through the freaking door, baby. I have a photo of Sonic, back when he was gorgeous, back when he was beautiful before Hollywood destroyed him. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. He's gotta follow the rainbow. Tweety, Tweety Sonic. I have several shades of no fucking idea what's going on in this room right now. Feels as though I'm about to be murdered. Creepiest thing I've ever played. The fact that I have to walk backwards is just a plus. That door can't be locked, because if that door's locked, then I don't know what to do with the rest of my freaking life. Man, if I was having a bad day, like something happened to my dog and then you put on this music, I'd probably, uh... Special cure against the deadliest enemy of my soul. 
I'm so painfully confused right now. So painfully confused. Haunting. Haunting experience we're having right now. See, the thing is, it's just a playable demo, so I'm not even sure how much I'm even supposed to be doing. For all I know, this is... Guys, I don't even know how to communicate this to you well enough. I've been getting the worst freaking chills, hair raising, <clears throat> goosebumps ever since I stepped into this. I swear to God, this game is haunted. There seems to be no general point to it. No, nothing. No, it's just, just dedicated to being the most disturbing thing ever. I was wondering if I was supposed to go in this door. Look at this, walking backwards through several doors and empty rooms. This is, this is demonic. I swear to God, if it's the same kind of room up there, you're literally messing with my mind in weird ways. It is, dude, it is. It's the same exact room, just turned it doesn't matter which way you go. Is this door locked both ways also? I just can't. At a certain point, YouTubers have to look after their own mental health and their own mental stability, and this game is a red flag! Alright, now welcome to Test Tube Titans. This game actually looked like it had some insane potential, so much so that I saved it for kind of like the end, because it's just, I'm pretty sure it's about making little monsters in test tubes and basically choosing them and specializing them however you wish and letting them go and ha just commit destruction, I suppose. I did not realize it would have like this 1995 HUD for the most part. I don't know. It, it, it definitely looks really old and really crappy, but it, it's just a it's just a browser game and it, it honestly might be amazing. It, oh, it does sort of have the issue of being Xbox only controls, which kind of really I don't even know what happened. These are different mutation paths, I suppose. I don't know why the hell you would give this only Xbox. Oh, oh, what happened? These are separate mutation paths. Looks like each have different energy, health, whatever little variations. And now we come out this little blue guy. I think I just keep creating new creatures whenever I do that. All right, so I've officially been tearing my room apart looking for my freaking cord that plugs my Xbox controller up into my PC. The problem is, like, six months ago or whatever, when we were all evacuated, all of Southern California was evacuated because everything was on fire, I never found, like, half my stuff we left in such a freaking hurry because there was a fire outside that I never found half my stuff, and now I can't play this this freaking game that I just paid five bucks for. This is, this is a very disappointing moment for me in my life. I almost didn't even post the video, but I'm still gonna, because I still want to and I've had fun. But this is essentially what we're missing out on right now. It's nothing that special, it's still a little browser game, but the fact that you get to genetically make up and manufacture and mess with your own creatures and then set them loose is an extravagant beautiful thing. I will play this in the future. I will post it on my channel, because I love anything that I see with monsters. Well, that was sad. I was really excited for that. I hope you guys don't get too bad at me. It'll be here in the future. But now, welcome to 6 a.m. at the Chum Buckets, a game that I believe I read when I downloaded it was made because of the popularity of 6 a.m. at the Krusty Krab. I, I initially thought it would be a scary game, but now I think about 6 a.m. is usually when you show up for work, like, at, at some sort of fast food establishment for the most part, because you gotta start opening up and everything. Get all the, all the grills fired up and all that shit. So I thought it was a scary game, but oh look at that controls that actually work. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm Squidward. That's awesome right there, dude. I'm Squidward. Ears with <laughs> Just like in the simulation. I love how when we walk we make Squidward noises too. It's the freaking details you gotta pay attention to that makes video games so great. Oh that's fantastic. Ew! Okay. I didn't see the H in any of those at first. I feel like a dirty, disgusting pervert. Oh, a little Squidward tentacle flashlight! Am I just a child? I'm almost 30 years old. I gotta get my life together. Nah. I don't need to go here yet. This is freaking cool already. I'm happy I saved this for last. I saved it for last because you guys like scary games? We'll trick people into eating chub disguised as Krabby Patties. Okay, alright. But... Scary for you guys, SpongeBob for me. Holy shit, am I seeing what I'm seeing? I am seeing what I'm seeing. <gasps> oh, burp. I feel like I'm on a Universal Studios roller coaster. Alright, so that's what's going on back there. Kitchen, restroom, laboratory, maintenance. Huh. Doors right. Freaking Karen! I was wondering if Karen would be the super villain in this situation. Karen went crazy and killed his what, husband, or her, her husband, Plankton. There's a key in the sauce. I gotta search around in the sauce for a while before I find the key. I'm enjoying this. This is, this is a good game structure. 
Sexy stuff. I found a silver key. It's still popping off over there. Okay, Karen's in there. Karen, you crazy bitch. Karen took the kids and made sure to add a drainage to the sink. You're, you're happy to hype it, right? Oh, dude, this game's gotta be like hella famous then. <gasps> this game is probably. Oh, bitch! I never really check out horror games or anything horror game related or anything like that, so I'm pretty blind eyeing this right now. Whenever I play a horror game and you got the video does well, then the odds increase, but I've always been too scared to try. I assume I gotta go back for the same key, correct though? I can't believe just 40 minutes ago I was a dragon, just- ah! So every time I hear that noise, she's popping out of another hole, is that what's going on? I don't understand. That one's got blood coming out of it. I'm not going out of storage one, storage two. Whole buttload of chum. Hilarious. He's turning into, he's turning us into chum. Yeah, I was going to say, because chum is like fish. Chum is like grinded up fish. That's why fish don't like it in SpongeBob, because he's feeding them themselves. It's cannibalism. And it doesn't taste good. I have no experience in scary games. I'm just a blind, horrified idiot the entire time. It's fantastic stuff. Fantastic feeling. Wait, okay, the key's back here in the kitchen, then clearly the key for that thing is back there. All right. Poor Squidward. What's he even doing going to work in the chum bucket? Something must have happened in the last game. In 6 a.m. at the Krabby Patty? Yeah, something must have happened there. To cause Squidward to look for a different employment elsewhere. Makes makes total sense to me, man. All right, so key here. Karen, if you pop out and ruin this for me, I swear to God. Here's how you turn the the thing, the button pushing. I'm pushing buttons. We're getting somewhere, baby. I'm pulling mad levers right now, bro. I hope she doesn't hear this. I hope that's not a thing in this. I'm making a lot of noise. The door to the laboratory has been unlocked. What about when she scares me and it's all for nothing? Damn, I wonder what's in the basement. It must be pretty spooky. I know the laboratory is our goal, but... Okay, it's just not even gonna let us go down there. <laughs> That's like... I pictured fish bodies. I guess there's a bunch in here, though. Some intense button-pushing animation. The door to the lab has been unlocked. I hear Karen just popping in and out of areas like a freaking mad woman back there. Jesus Christ, that was actually terrifying. All right, we've made it into the laboratory. We're robot SpongeBob, how's it going? All right, let's get this. I feel like once we get the, isn't this main computer Karen? Like, isn't this just gonna? I don't know. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Alarm deactivated. Front door unlocked. Uh, oh, shit. Find the power box and turn the power back on to escape. Damn it! Damn it! I really thought it was over. This just sucks, dude. It's just ah! I was gonna say, it sucks. Knowing well, eventually I'm just gonna get scared. I don't even know what the fuck happened. You mean I'm stuck in a loop? An infinite loop? I found it! Oh my god, dude. I am the best Squidward that there's ever been. Except for my camera turned off a while ago because my memory card's full. Doesn't matter. Game's over anyways, baby. We got this. Just gotta make our way out the front door and everything's okay. This is it. Kosher ready right here, baby. We've done it. So much! I hate everything. We're gonna turn you into chum Squidward? What the hell is that? You know what? I think this is a good enough place to end it as any. The cameras, the camera clearly is already surrendered. I should follow in suit. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely leave a like if it does well. I would love to do a bunch more. I hate being scared, but it's only for like half an hour, so it's fine. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!